guitar enthusiast, I'm going to show you a simple two chord song by the Kingston Trio called Tom Dooley. We are going to need a capo on the second fret for the guitar. This way it will sound just like the record. Now capo, if you don't know what a capo is, it's just a little clamp. All right, and we put it on the guitar and it allows us to change the pitch of the guitar, make the notes higher, and still use simple chords. Super fun. So this song has two chords. There's a D chord and an A7, so we're gonna go over each of those if you haven't seen those before. Let's start with the A7. I'm gonna show you how to play this a little bit differently so it makes it easier to transition into the D chord. So for A7, we're gonna play the fifth string open. That's our A note. We're gonna put our first finger on the second fret of the third string, okay? And then we're talking the second fret up from the capo. So now everything is relative to this capo. So one, two, okay? So we have first finger on the D string, second fret. We're gonna play the E, uh, sorry, the G string open. We're gonna put our second finger on the B string at the second fret. And then we're gonna play the E string open. So it's gonna sound like this. It's a very twangy sound. That's what those seven chords, like those blues chords. Okay, blues chords always use seven. It has that nice twang to it. So once again, open A string, first finger on the D string, second fret, open G string, second finger on the B string, second fret, and then high E string is played open. Very twangy sound. Now the reason I'm having you play it this way because now all we have to do is shift these two fingers down one string each, and we've already got most of our D chord built. So let's go back, back to the A7. Okay, so we have our A7 chord here. Move the first finger down one, move the third finger down one. So they're both still in the second frets. All we have to do now is have our third finger come up, and this is the tricky finger. The third finger is gonna come up on that B string third fret. And we're playing the bottom four strings. So it's D, G, B, E. Now, if you're hearing this on the E string, it could mean that your third finger, this knuckle isn't bent enough. Ooh, just try and bend that knuckle. Also, it could be that you're choking up on the guitar here a little bit. Try and loosen your grip. You don't have to play these chords as hard as you think. And try, try not to play this third finger back here. You need a lot more pressure back here than you do at the front of the fret, okay? So if we go from A7, to D, so we build it, move the fingers, third finger, okay? Okay, back to A7, and then back to D. Okay, and you can just practice building these one chord at a time. But those are the two chords we're gonna be using for this song, all right? So practice those, and then we're gonna jump into the strumming. So we're gonna be using an eighth note strumming pattern. What does that mean? We're gonna be counting one and two and three and four and, okay? Now for this strumming pattern, we can use two different strumming patterns. One is we strum on all of those counts. Let's take our A7 chord, okay? And we're just gonna do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's one and two and three and four and. Let's try it, ready? One two, three, four. One and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, that's one way to strum. If I switch to my D chord now, I'm gonna show you a different strumming pattern. If you wanna open it up a little bit, I like to give students options. So it's gonna be one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and down, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. So those are the two options. And I think the speed of this song is about this.
similar to that. People always ask me what tempo is the song. I go off of what I feel. Um, I'm familiar with the song. I'm not super, super familiar with it that it's in my, my muscle memory in terms of the tempo, but I think that's pretty close. Cool, I just listened to it real quick and it's pretty close. It's like, that's more the tempo of the song. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the refrain and we're gonna take the verse here and we're gonna play through a little bit of Tom Dooley together so that we can practice. So I'm gonna sing a refrain, a verse, and a refrain and that will give you a good idea of how to play through the song. I'm gonna use strumming pattern two, which is gonna be the one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. So let's just get that under our fingers right now. One. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Good. So that's the strumming pattern. Now, if I'm going too fast, use the settings cog down there to slow me down, put me at like 75% speed. I might sound a little bit drunk, but that's okay. If that's what you need, that's what you do, okay? We're gonna take it one step at a time. One, two, one, two, here we go. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Poor boy, you're bound to die. I met her on the mountain. There I took her life. Met her on the mountain. Stabbed her with my knife Hang down your head, Tom Dooley Hang down your head and cry Hang down your head, Tom Dooley Oh boy, you're bound to die Now you probably notice because I know some of you are very, very observative. Um, I was using my second and third fingers, and you'll notice on that last A, I tried to do it the way I showed you, but my muscle memory is so used to doing it this way, um, I was actually playing the wrong chord. And if you go back and listen, you're gonna hear me make a quick little mistake. And I like leaving the mistakes in, because it just shows you I'm human just like you. I've been playing guitar for over 20 years. I still make mistakes. It's happened. If you make a mistake, just keep playing through it, okay? You learn the most by playing right through those mistakes. So I hope you guys enjoyed Tom Doolin. If you're looking for another very simple two chord song, check out my Horse With No Name lesson right over there. I'll see you guys in another lesson video real soon.